So before we dive into the Pokemon trailer with Dodge analysis, I did do like a prediction stuff before the trailer dropped. I'm just gonna play it right here. All right, we have one minute until the video drops. I'm gonna keep refreshing the Pokemon channel. It's like me watching, reacting to my own video right here. This was this it's morning. Needed. I don't know if I have any predictions. Um, At like 6 a.m. Maybe they'll probably reveal the starter evolutions, at least the second stage, maybe. And then they're probably gonna talk about more of the features. Like maybe with the co-op stuff in the raid battles, <laughs> like with the crystal den or whatever. Um, I can't wait to do that. You think they're gonna have? I don't know if they. Hopefully they address the the time skip stuff because. <laughs> they that that's pretty much like a a glitch in their system, right? If you change the time skip, you can move forward and then you can like get the next day Pokemon. It's just some I'm thoughts hoping maybe they do it based on in-game time instead of uh, the system time this time. So it'll actually work out. Oh, it's 6, uh, it's six o'clock. Alright, alright, alright. Nothing yet. So, I'm, while that's happening, uh, I'm just gonna skip around to the, to the trailers and stuff. And we'll just get into talking about the, the trailer. Just get in here. I'm not gonna play with any sound or anything as for time being. So in the beginning, they just talk about like, oh yeah, these are the stuff that we've seen already. <laughs> All right, let's skip around to this part. So pretty much right off the bat, after just showing like the glimpses of stuff, you can see you encounter Lechonk here, and this is pretty much like a loading screen, just like the small zoom in. But there's no real loading screen, right? Um, and then we just see the typical battle with terrestrializing. And then we actually get to the part where we see a glowing Pokemon, right? And then I thought at first was like higher chances of hidden abilities or IVs. But it was just to get a Terra type, right? It's a Terra type Pokemon. And it's like, it could be like one of those rare ones, like a water Jigglypuff. Water type Jigglypuff. And then after you catch it, we have, we have this Pokemon status summary here. Um, so here you can actually see the Terra type right here. And you can also see like an icon on the bottom right here for Terra type. And there's also like a badge here. So, um, that's that. And then apparently now we have 16, right? Yeah, it could be pretty much like Overworld Alpha, kind of. I, I, I'm i not sure if maybe just this have a Terra type, but in the dens, you can have like Hidden Ability, Better IV Terra types. That probably is the case. But yeah, now we cast 18 possibilities for terrestrializing, and we're not even sure, right? Like, when you're battling someone, like, in actually, like, PvP, I don't know if they actually tell you what terrestrialize or what Terra type they are, like, your opponents. So it's kind of like a surprise kind of thing. <laughs> I mean, if you're fighting a ghost, right? Normal type only has a, a weakness of fighting. And if you're fighting like a ghost Pokemon, you can probably do a normal terror type. I don't know, man. I wonder how that looked like. <laughs> like you become normal. So here you have a partner Pokemon, right? On the bottom left, you notice how there is like an HP for your partner Pokemon. So you can kind of keep track of it that way. And you can send them out to auto battle and pick them up items with the let's go command. And auto battle do drop items, right? And as you can see here, there's a lit Leo tough here. I don't think that's an item I've seen before. So this is probably new. And I'm, I'm assuming that each Pokemon have their own drop item as materials that you need, right? For crafting things. They don't, yeah, they don't always drop it, but um, they have a chance to drop. They have, I feel like each Pokemon will have their own drop item that has a chance to drop them. Yeah, they're gonna use it for crafting TMs. We can go with that later when they actually show the TM machines. But I think later you can see that you can actually pin where you want to go, or right? set destination, make navigation easier. 
On the left side, you notice a compass, a cyclopedia, and profile. I'm I'm assuming that you like you just cycle through them, because right now you're on a map, which is just a compass. At least one item. I think it should be at least two. One common, one rare. Yeah, that they could have it like that. They could even have like a multi table, like like one common, one medium, and one rare. So now we get to the gates of Team Star, and and you're blocked by it. So I guess it's kind of like you can't get through unless you you beat them. <laughs> Unfortunately, kind of forces you to fight them though. It's kind of, I don't know how I feel about that. But here, there's a timer, right? You start off and then they spawn like, spawn Pokemon and you have to beat 30 of them to complete this, this challenge here before you can fight Mela, right? And apparently you, you get three Pokemon. I don't know if it's like your whole party. It could be just your whole party, and then you, this person just only had three Pokemon, so you can only just send out three. Or they only just take the first three, and you can only do the battle with three Pokemon. I don't know. But you can send all three of them out at once, just fighting. And if you actually go back a little bit, here, you can see right here, there is a Pokemon that's like... We don't know exactly what that is. It's like skinnier version. It's pretty skinny, so I don't know if it's a Torkoal. It could be a glitch, for all I know. Because it does have the same color palette as Torkoal. But it, like the shape is different, so... Who knows? It could be a new Pokemon, but it should be a fire type, because this is a fire... This whole base is fire thing. Mega Man Mon? It could be. We don't know for sure yet, though, right? We don't know for sure. It's just speculation at the moment. All right, so here we we get the the car, and then uh, at some point there's like there's more eyes on the, there's like different parts of the car that have eyes on them. People think it could also be like more more Pokemon like that. <laughs> Who knows? It could be just like a Magnemite thing where it turned to Magneton, and then you just have more parts as one Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. But this is more eyes on different parts of the car. People at first thought it was the engine, right? The engine had an eye. And then now we notice the side of this this wheel part has an eye. And um, if you notice on here, I don't know if... Like at this part, if you go back, if you go back a little bit, you notice these are grayed out. I don't know if they're actually like tired or like knocked out. Like, if they actually get knocked out or whatever, or they're just tired. Because usually, if you can send them out, it becomes uh, yellow. I don't know if it's, like, maybe because it's on a cooldown or something. Like, you send it out, and you have to wait a bit for the cooldown. And then you can use it again. Or they just knocked out. Because here, here looks like, like it's different, right? Yeah, no, you can actually throw all three of them out at once. Like, right here. You can throw all three. You can throw all three out, like Jigglypuff throw out, you can throw this one out, and then you can... You can just keep throwing them to battle them. And then, but then here you notice a different shading, like... Like it's grayed out. It's grayed out now, like it got knocked out. But, when you fight Mela in this part, this trainer... They send in Jigglypuff again, but then Jigglypuff is grayed out, so it could just be a cooldown. For all I know, but I'm just, I'm just... Throwing out thoughts out here. But yeah, here we have six Pokemon. So I don't know. I feel like that that part of the challenge, maybe they heal you right after, right? After you do the challenge, they heal before you fight kind of thing. Um, Because they had three Pokemon, now they have six. Is this, is this a different person? Hold on. Let me see. No, it's the same person. Yeah, I feel like it could be an energy mechanic, or they just heal you at the end. But anyways, we get to the TM part, where you do the crafting stuff, right? Here we have a, a Shinx Fang, and then I believe earlier there's like a Starly, Starly Feather, and Azumarill, what? Azumarill Fur, Teddy Ursa Claw. 
Starly Feather, Fetchling Feather, and then of course Leak Points. And here you see it could be like a different version of Hariyama or just a completely different Pokemon. I don't even know. Yeah, like Fangs. Like most of the wolf monsters you play in games, they drop Fangs anyways. <laughs> right? So most likely you beat them up, they, they, they lose their teeth or whatever. <laughs> And then, um, yeah, so that, that's what I wanted to point out there. But yeah, we can craft them, and it seems like TMs are one-time use again, which is okay. Um, it depends how rare, how rare these drops are. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, the stronger one is probably rare, like, Draco Meteor or whatever. But, um, hopefully we get a lot of these. And there's also leaf points. Which is probably deal with like gym battles and stuff like that, or just battling in general. Here, we do get interrupted by Arvin talking. I'm hoping we can still move while it's talking. Like, we can still use the movement key. But here, it looks like they can't move. I don't know. But I'm hoping we can still move. Yeah. I mean, you can go anywhere you want, right? Depends where you want to go. But yeah, Arvin interrupts you, and then we get into the path of the legends. And then of course we have Cloth Titan here, right? And then they introduce the new the new type Terra Blast, which is based on what Terra type you have, and when you're terrestrialized, it'll use whatever that type is. And I'm not sure if there's like a forced cutscene, like it'll it'll always for sure not what you can't one shot it for some reason, it'll just end here. And I don't, this seemed like a, a cutscene, like, yeah, I'm out, kind of thing. He just leaves. <laughs> so that's probably one of those. Then we actually get to this multiplayer screen, which is called the Pokey Portal, right? And then we have an offline mode. So they're not actually offline, but they can trade. So it seems like it's more like a local connection kind of thing. But here we have a union circle. I'm assuming that's like how you, you pick world to jump to. Like, I'm going to join your world. You go to the Union Circle, you look up a world. Or maybe it's like a hub. I don't know, right? But it's like a meetup place. And then we have Terra Raid Battle, where it's pretty much like Sword and Shield Den Battles, right? You can see the list of dens, which one you want to join. Apply the password or whatever, you type it in. Or you can go list them or share. No, you share, You probably share them in, the, in that card screen that we'll see later. But um, this is where you just see all the lists of your friends and stuff. Then we have Link Trade and then Surprise Trade, which is, I guess, Wonder Trade. Then we have Link Battle and we have Battle Stadium. When I saw this at first, I was like, oh, shoot, please have mini games." But then I saw the word Battle, so it's just going to probably be like a tournament mode or something. But wouldn't it be cool if it had mini games like Pokemon Stadium? <laughs> but that would be good. And of course, the last option is Mystery Gift, which is like the, the, the goodies that you get from codes and stuff, right? And then we get later traded Giraffery. And then we see the evolution of Giraffery. I was like, what? Its head? Or is its head wearing its tail? Sure. Well, what the hell? Did it yeah, I was like, I was surprised. Even though they did spoil it in the thumbnail, I didn't even notice. <laughs> I didn't even notice. To be honest, I'm not even going to use this Pokemon. Be honest. I never used it before. I'm probably not gonna use it now. <laughs> not my not my type of Pokemon, so I kinda understand. But yeah, for for Rigoraf now, is that's what it's called. So it pretty much has it used to have two brains, right? One the head, one the tail, and then, then it merge into one. <laughs> they have one brain. Or two brains in one one place now. And then here we actually do see the Pokedex entry. Right? Which is like hardened head from tail protects the head of the main body of for for Rigoraf. Whips his long neck around to headbutt enemies. Normal psychic type. And now you can view their motions too, right? More motion than crying. So here, here we see more of the town of Artisan. And if you notice on the bottom right here, this is mini map. And these are like Pokemon we never seen before, or animals we haven't seen before. 
but if we notice in minimap it's like it shows the vicinity of the pokemon um i have i'm speculating that if you've seen them they show up maybe right and if you haven't seen them they even don't show up or they show up as a shadow like a pokemon go right and then you be like oh shoot what's this what's this pokemon over here that i never seen before it's like there's a shadow right there i should go check it out right that would be cool if they had it there but yeah we see a mouse and then we see like a parrot or bird looking thing and then we see like a mushroom that looks like have a salt block on top of it it could be used for bakery right And then here, we see more of the town. We get into the Victory Road area. And then on the bottom, top, on top right, you notice the green tin eating like a bake, like a pastry. So I'm, there's pretty much going to be, this is probably like a bakery chain, right? That happened throughout the world where it had green tin as the mascot. Then we get into the Sun 4 mini game and then the battle. And of course you notice like these two grandmas are like the same sprite. I, I was hoping for to have like these styling options that they can like randomize it and then just put like random people outside so it don't look the same. Or maybe even better just, or even easier, just take like trainers from your friend list and just drop them in there to cheer you on. Like the ones that aren't in your world, but they're in your friend list. They just drop in and be like, yo, go, go. Beat up that pseudo I mean, they don't say it, but just see them like, like cheering out like that. Imagine you have no friends. I know, man. It's rough. Then you gotta find my stream, right? You come to my stream, make some friends. But yeah, who knows? But even if they did, they could at least like randomize it. So we did and to get to the styling options, right? We got a, we got a decent size of hair styles because look at this bar this is only like one fourth of it so it's like four pages at least at least here i don't know how far to end the game but hopefully they have my hairstyle like kind of spiked hair I, I would like a spike hair style and they do have decent color picks we go here they have decent oh shit let me go back yeah and this this had more options this is like Probably like a fifth of the page, so five pages of this. And then we get into the the looks. You can change your eyes, you can change your contact color, you can change your eyelashes, <laughs> eyebrows, lips, and then you can put like the makeup. <laughs> you can also change your outfit. So if we go back here, there's the outfit section over here. You can change your outfit here as well. So now we get to the selfie mode. We go over here to selfies. All right, and if we pause right here, if you notice on the top left, there seem to be like some kind of bug Pokemon like hopping back and forth over here. It could be new. I think people are thinking it's probably new. But yeah, you can see like the bug jumping back and forth. Looks like a bug Pokemon. And here, we got the profile. You can see how much shiny Pokemon you battled. All right, you can see how many shiny Pokemon you battle, how many recipes collected. So at least if you accidentally KO one, at least it saves on here. It's like, oh shoot, no, it's gone. So here we talk about the picnic. So it's pretty much like the new Poke Camp kind of thing. You can scrub. Scrub your Pokemon with a Mareep sponge. And then you can wash them down. And then you can play ball with them as well. All right, you can play ball with them. The weird part about this is this egg finding thing. Like, <laughs> you can see how many Pokemon. Well, I said battle, right? So even, I think even if you caught it, even if you did catch it, it would still count because you battled it. But it also count how many, I wonder if they, they probably have a different counter, probably how many you caught. That'd be great too. And how many battles? You mean it's a joke? Yeah, yeah. I get it. <laughs> Just emphasize it, making sure. Um, but yeah, this part with the egg part is kind of weird. Like, you go on a picnic, you pack the food, 
right? Who packs your food? I don't know. Why would you? Who you pack a Pokemon egg in there that you don't know? So someone either got to put it there or the Pokemon put it there. Like, wouldn't it make more sense to have like eggs randomly outside right here? That would make more sense. Like you set up a picnic and suddenly the egg spawn. Not in the basket though, but like maybe just like around your picnic. Yeah. <laughs> they want to put it in a warm spot. Yeah, so either your Pokemon will put it in there or for some reason. Is that a food basket? Oh, the food basket is there. Then what kind of, what what you bring just bring an extra basket? <laughs> I mean you got two food baskets, if you think about it. I mean even if it wasn't it it will just be putting in um, you'd be putting in the picnic stuff, right? Like the tablecloth, the table, the chairs, um, the other stuff. You, <laughs> basket made it just makes a basket too, while also makes an egg. Yeah, I mean, it. I'm just saying this doesn't make sense, but it is what it is, right? You can recall, you can whistle, you can crouch, you can throw a ball, you can pack up and go. So the buttons on the side over there. And here we have sandwich time, right? Notice how did you like you put ham and then just like plants. Where do you get these? Like, are they made from Pokemon? That's a joke, right? People make jokes that, yo, is that from Lechonk? And I made the joke, like, is that grass also from, like, grass Pokemon? <laughs> Even if it's plant-based ham, you know. We have Eevee pick. I wonder if we have different types of picks. Who knows? I don't know. But I believe, um... When you make it, each sandwich do have, have stars. Yeah, the curry is, like, more of a... Like a timing thing. This one you just grab and make it. <laughs> Hope you can steal from trainer. Yeah, we can. We could do picnics with your friends and stuff. And then maybe if you can like make a sandwich. And you're making a sandwich together. And then you guys share the ingredients. <laughs> like yo I'm taking all the ham. Yo I'm a meat eater. I'm sorry. Just just saying. <laughs> but I don't know. I feel kind of weird. But we'll, we'll see. <laughs> um... But yeah, we do have a three star. It's actually called Tasty Florian Original here. But there's rarity for sandwiches. And the sandwiches do give you buffs. Like catching power, you get a higher chance of catching a fairy type. And you have a higher chance of encountering a grass type. I don't know what raid power is though. You remember talking to random people in the overworld? And they gave you items, yeah. But those are like bots though. Here, you can actually have real people. So you should like control your friends. Like, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take some of that. I'm gonna take some of your tomato, man. I'm sorry, I need it. Maybe, can I borrow some tomato? Thanks. Then you just drop the tomato on the table. Add it to the, add it to the, the main ingredient table, right? We don't know how that works, maybe. See how, how the ingredients intertwine. Yeah, I'm thinking it's gonna, you hit harder in, in the raid battles. That's why my, 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 my first guess. Like, either you hit harder with ground moves, or you hit harder against ground Pokemon. It's, I feel like it's one of those. Not sure which one yet, but... We'll see, we'll see. Of course, here we're taking a selfie again. <laughs> then we get into the Terra battles here, right? Oh, let's go back, let's go back to the... The card you can actually see the the terra type on here and of course you can see the the rarity the star system is back from sword and shield i don't know if you need to beat a gym badges again so you can actually encounter five stars it could be it can also be the counter but i feel like the counter power will probably be that i don't know yeah it's kind of like a mix my like counter power could be the one that you encounter more often which is grass, and then you do stronger moves against using your grass, your ground moves. Yeah, I need, 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 need more information here. But yeah, we have the star system coming back. All ready to go. Change your Pokemon remaining time. Link code. 
I'm surprised they didn't bring back the the eight digit link code, man. Didn't they learn from last time? Like they started the game with four digits and then they increased it to eight. Why not just start off with eight? We're gonna have conflicting link codes again, <laughs> especially on release, because everyone's gonna be playing, <laughs> right? Was it five? No, I think it was it was four. It was four. I I used to have the code always seven seven eight. And that was always the code. It was just four. And then they doubled it to eight. And then I just made it seven, seven, three sevens and all eights. <laughs> so I don't know why they did backtrack on there. But anyways, we get into the, the terror raid battle here and it does seem time based, right? You have to defeat the, the Pokemon. We're fighting a ghost chant, a ghost terror type Chansey. And we have a time bar here. So we had to defeat Chansey within the time limit. Because everything is more time based now. So you don't have to wait on your friends. And of course if you get KO there's a cooldown to respawn. Was it always a timer? No in the old raid battles. Um, you have 4 lives. So there's no timer. And everything just turn based. You wait, but you have to wait for everyone's turn. Now they made it so if someone actually like takes their time. It's okay. Tank, yeah time turn-based timer but this one just an overall timer this one just overall you have you have this time if you don't this i think this is the group timer and the timer just goes down that, that was a big jump right there i think it goes by section and then like whoop. but i feel yeah so here we also have cheers if you notice how um Let's see, can we go back into that? So now you actually decide your cheer type, right? You can decide if you want to buff everyone's attack, you want to increase everyone's defense, or you can just heal everyone. Yeah, I, I, I like this better because then before it was just random, and I'm like, yo, hopefully, please cure, cure, cure my status. They don't have, I don't know if heal up will actually clear your statuses though. Maybe they took that out, I don't know. But that one was pretty, pretty OP. Especially if you get confused or something from the, from the types. And then, uh, yeah, so we defeat it. They throw, that's the throwing animation. They're pretty good. And then here we have the, the montage, right? You notice more emotes kind of thing now, like this guy with the rain. This one like hiding in the rain. This one shivering kind of thing. <laughs> if you go, Chansey is smart. Yeah, that's yeah. That's that's what that's the point. And then if you know you're fighting a ghost Pokemon, you can go into normal type. <laughs> but no one's weak against normal, right? <laughs> But they do use grass move. I mean, ghost moves. Oh yeah, I guess I guess if you fake, if someone's gonna fake you out, you can you can terrestrialize the ghost and then it just miss. It, yeah, I feel like ghost probably will be used a lot, especially a lot of the priority moves. Especially fake out is used quite a bit because it makes you flinch. But yeah, so that's pretty much my my review of and analysis of of this trailer.